Greetings, everyone. We're back. It's Valley! And, once more, onto the breach. So, uh, uh... We already been there. We're at the Soma facility. That's what it is. Yes. The Titan Tree, found within the valley, produces a so-called life seed once every thousand years. It is believed the ancient inhabitants of the valley may have worshipped the tree for this reason. Oh, God. That was such a broken sentence. I have to apologize to everyone. I have had a shitty week. It's been horrible. I've been in a lot of plane, the plane pain, and there's been blood, there's been gore, there's been agony and suffering, and I haven't slept very well. So I'm, I am probably going to be goofier than normal, if not just downright miserable. Hmm. No trees or orbs anywhere. Take energy from storage cells to restock your stores. Ooh. There's, oh, there's that. Wom. Well, I've been to detention before, it wasn't that bad. That reminds me, there was an area I think I missed last time. I should go back and do that later. Oh well. For now, we're here. We. My, but this is bleak. Ah, here we go. Note from a god. I'd give anything to be a Pathfinder, but there's no way I'd ever be eligible unless I suddenly lost 60 pounds. That'll never happen. Too bad. I bet you I could pick up a lot of girls in those things. Oh god. Actually, he has no idea how literally he could pick up girls. Andrew Fisher audio logs. September 17th, 1942. My name hmm. is Andrew Fisher, leading physicist and head of Project Pendulum. Pendulum is the research and development project directed by the Army Corps of Engineers to produce a weapon of mass destruction that can bring an end to the war through the unconditional surrender of our enemies. He looks kind of crazy. Within the summer facility, we are surrounded by Amrita fuel slugs extracted from the valley. As such, we tend to be isolated from the effects of the Pathfinder's quantum death side effects. I was amazed when I step out of the facility to see scores of trees dead around me. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I, I guess this makes sense then. You know, the uh, with Manhattan Project's success, this project would no longer be needed, is my guess. Hello. Wakey, wakey. Hmm. One does wonder what one has gotten up to. Sproing. I'm very sprungy sproing, aren't I? Wee. Let's see what else we can find here. And... This reminds me of Indiana Jones, like the place where they put all the artifacts. Hello, hello. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Piss off! God, that noise is... Nah. Nothing in here. Stupid flying swarms of insectile nuisances. Ah, what am I doing? I'm trying oh, there's a thing with over me. No wonder I can't jump up there. Oh, come on! Ah! Holy crap. Alright, what am I doing? Uh, where's that Amrita swarm? Amrita swarm, damn you! Hello, Amrita. Thank you! Once again... Oh, I missed. I missed! Crap! Well, I'll have to worry about that later. There we go. Ha! 
Is it cheating? Maybe. But hey, it's the game mechanics. What do you want? Hmm. Bouncy. Nothing over here. Oops. Let's not get too stuck. This is a very dark place. We do not speak its name. What have we here? Nope. What am I up to? One does wonder what I'm trying to do. Ooh, hello. Right before being sent out here, I got to see the maple leaves in the Stanley Cup. That goal of old Petey Langle is one to watch. I bet anything they're going to win the cup again next year. I'd even bet my children on it. I don't really like me anyhow. Oh, my word. Rental issues much? What am I up to? What am I trying to accomplish? What is love? Um, lady, don't hurt me. Lady, don't hurt me. No more. Oh! I keep forgetting inertia is a thing. Damn it, Slade! Watch what you're doing! There we go. Now, there's obviously an office over there that I need to get into, but for now, we'll just go over here. Better lit anyways. As a precaution to both Nazi and Soviet espionage, Pendulum's location and purpose is unknown to the outside world. Taking a cue from the Manhattan Project, only a small few know of Pendulum's purpose, operating under the guise of an alternative. As it came to light that Manhattan had been plagued with espionage, it was agreed upon to shroud Pendulum within the government itself. All those who knew of Pendulum's true intent are here. Though admittedly extreme, we can ensure an ironclad umbrella of secrecy. Information can only come in, and none can go out. As far as anyone outside this valley knows, Pendulum does not exist. This valley does not exist. Oh god. Huh. Well, there's a phone call coming in, apparently. Curses. I'll have to answer that. Ah. Uh, no, well, it'll come back later. They may leave me a message. That's what messages are for. How does one get in there, I wonder? Hmm. One does concern oneself with such things. Hum. Worry about that later, I guess. I'm not really starved for energy or for anything else for that matter. I've done rather well. Ah, uh, oh, hello. Smashy, smashy. Well, there may have been a crane here once, there is not one now. I feel like the more I go this way, the less I have the ability to go back to where I was. But you know what? I'll do that another time. For now, we romp and rollick and frolic and oh god! Okay. stuck on stuff. It's very easy to get stuck on stuff here, it seems. Welcome to Pendulum. Hooray! Oh, hello. Oh, my word. Hmm. We better finish with this project soon. The supply drops are only scheduled to arrive for a few more months. Otherwise, due to the isolation policy, we're on our own. The pilots know nothing of this operation other than the orders drop off supplies to this location until the end of this year. I think they were told this is for a mining operation. I wonder if Fisher is going mad over our timelines. Oh boy. Medallion acquired. Hooray. 
Uh, I better check this. Oh dear, what, what am I doing? Where am I going? Oh, hello. There's an up. But what is up? Hmm. There we go. Apparently, oh, jeez, what did I just run through? What do we got here? Nothing. More nothing. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, keep going. Hello, hello. Medallions, hooray. I've been ordered to patrol the stone facility again today. I have circled through the same rooms 30 times since noon. At least I got the smile of the cute scientist in the pressure chamber each time. She hasn't smiled back at me yet. I hope she doesn't find me creepy. Well... Well, since you keep going through there, it's quite possible. Hello, hello. It's odd to think what exactly a life is once you've experienced quantum death. What exactly are the ingredients that make up my life? My ingredients aren't really all that different from anyone else's. Carbon, calcium, hydrogen, etc. Held together with some energy. So what exactly makes me, me? I guess, if anything, I'm just a pattern. One that forms out of the chaotic blender of matter in the universe like a whirlpool out of water. And when I die, that pattern simply dissipates back into the cosmos. Are we all the same universe simply expressing itself? Hmm. Oh, metaphysical. But I have no time for such things. We must carry on. Carrying on. We're gonna have a party. Do, 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 do. Let there be light. I will come back and check on that light later. <laughs> oh shit, there's more than one. That one's down. We've defeated the Emerita Swarms, again. Why? Thank you. And now, for those who are wondering, I don't know what I'm doing. As a result of the reaction between the Amrita energy and the Pathfinder's own life force, they experience what I have dubbed quantum death. When a Pathfinder dies while wearing the suit, their consciousness branches into a new reality, unharmed. They achieve quantum immortality. He sounds kind of crazed. Uh, the reactor and thermal diffuser are very unstable, must be located both far apart and underground to ensure any accidental explosions are contained. Thank you, bugs. Uh, large vents are needed to circulate cool air deep into the mountains. Conveniently, one of the mountains already had an ancient tunnels leading deep into the heart of the mountain. This site was chosen for the thermal diffuser and weapons site. The two sites are connected via underground rail transport, or to transport materials. Hey, Bloody insects. Warm. Let's see. Several guards on Nightwatch have reported large creature sightings. Some of them are a little shaken up by it. It might just be the being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere, so long as it is finally getting to them. Either way, we'll need full annual psychological assessments for all the personnel in or near the future. So that's what worries me. Like that's, I mentioned this before. Ooh, hello. Please report any suspicion on an officer immediately. Any hesitation could place the entire operation in jeopardy. We don't want to be in jeopardy. We all know what a nightmare of a show that is. Um, anyways, bad jokes. Um, but yes, part of what concerns me with this game is I wonder if it's going to get rather horror later. It does... One one does wonder, to some extent or another. Oh, hello, hello, another note. All personnel expected to work longer hours during the, the ramp-up in production. If you believe you are unable to perform your duties as expected, please report to a supervisor immediately. I can't tell yet, for the life of me, if this place was abandoned or destroyed. Ooh, hello. A large-scale extinction event occurred in North America near the end of the Pleistocene period. Interestingly, the epicenter of the extinction seems to stem from this valley's location. Could Area 634 have anything to do with it? Oh, goody, they're blaming this on the extinction. Arr! Or blaming this to have caused the... E e e you know what I mean. Piss off. Rawr. 
Have I already explored up here? I think I have. Nope. Please refrain from wasting office supplies unnecessarily. Stock is running low. Please exhaust all office supplies to their full extent. What was that? Boy. Uh, they told us we were building some sort of alternate energy facility over here, but little else. Tradesmen are only allowed in certain areas at certain times for certain jobs. They're keeping us completely in the dark, having all of us focus on a single task at a time rather than giving us any hints into the big picture. What are they hiding from us? The bomb. Now that the isolation policy is in effect, I found out this is a weapon project of some sort. I still don't know much, but I hope to find out more. I just wish I could talk to my family back home. Let them know I'm doing okay. Ooh, almost enough for next, another energy charge. We must carry on. This way, I think. Through here, once more. Behold. The Mines of Moria. No. <laughs> wrong, wrong thing, Slade. Ahem. Probably misquoting that anyways. Who am I kidding? I can't quote shit. You should ask my roommate about that. He constant. I missed. There we go. I don't like all this hissing. Today one of the guards patrolling the so they walked by I asked him if he was keeping an eye on things. I don't think he got it. Ugh. Oh shit. You buggery buggers. Must you be so buggery? Come back here. You owe me energy. Thank you. Mm -mm. Yes, carry on. Uh, keeping an eye on things. Actually, was that who I think it was? I wonder if it was. Hmm, let us see, shall we? Over here, over here, over here, where are you? Ah, there you are, my dear. I think that's the the woman's voice we were listening to before. I cannot recall her name at the moment. I am tired. I am sleepy. I am Z, 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 Z. Hey! I shouldn't be doing this while tired, but hey, it's either that or break my sleep schedule, and then heaven forbid I break my sleep schedule. Okay, there's a generator here, don't need that. There's bugs over there. I'm glad they turned up, because otherwise be, that buzzing noise would be driving me mad. Who am I kidding? I'm already mad. Mm -hmm. The leaf suit may prove to be a pinnacle of feat of pendulum. The ability to manipulate life and death using the god hand, the agility, and the ability to circumvent death, all thanks to the Amrita energy converted from the valley's orbs. Uh, we can create ultimate soldier. The Mark II success will herald a new wave. Which, which mark do I have? The way Edwin sh makes a show with Virginia all the time really makes me my teeth grind. Everyone knows that romantic involvement between personnel is prohibited, yet no one does anything about it. Why does he get to run around with a girl while the rest of us sit around and play poker for 900,000th time? Uh, I, I know that complaint. Sounds very military. <laughs> Anyways, um, graffiti? Or, oh, these are... Oh, cool. Oh, these, these are the different teams. The different sports teams. I think, yep. Yep, yep, there they are. These are the different uh, competing Pathfinder teams. They have to do something, right? What the hell's going on? What's all this racket? Oh, this. Oh god.
Wait, hold on. What was this over here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I saw something on the, the right side here. What was that? Dead deer, good rabbits, got it, yes. Dead can die from containment breaches. Why is the contaminant breach showing like a big animal? I'm confused and worried. I gotta fight Bigfoot. To produce bonds of unparalleled yield, we rely upon the life seed housed within a reactor found deep underground beneath the Soma facility. By harvesting the high energy yield orbs found within the valley, we pass their energy through the life seed, which acts as a sort of amplifier, magnifying the energy to unprecedented levels. The explosives we create here will dwarf anything the Manhattan Project could ever possibly fathom. <laughs> God, he sounds bonkers. The toxicology report came in from the autopsy conducted on the latest Pathfinder fatality. I suspected an excess of DX9 led to cardiac arrest. The sooner we circumvent the need for DX9, the better. Bum, 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 bum. Oh dear, whatever will we do? Over here. Ha! There we go. I'm getting a lot of these medallions. I wonder if they're hinting at something. The other scientists were all taking, talking about atoms. I told them to try not to trust them since they make up everything. They asked me to leave. <laughs> clever girl. Or whoever that is. Clever girl, clever person, whoever you may be. You are very clever. Power overwhelming. <laughs> Old references. <laughs> well, I guess they're new references now since StarCraft got a reboot. <laughs> oh god, that was years in the making. Oh Jesus. Hello? What have... Fuck! 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 Are we done? No, the epic music hasn't stopped. The hell is going on? What is with this music? Well, seriously, stop with the music. I, I beat the two Amrita swarms you sent against me. Leave me alone. I don't like this. Oi. Oh my god. Alright. Um, if we leave the room, will the music stop? Come on, music. Quit it. There we go. Thank you. Jesus. I thought the bombs being created were impressive enough, but that's, it's that new weapon prototype that will not only steal all the attention. It's being called Thanatos. Oh god, it's being named to the Greek god of death. That's helpful. Oh, this sounds so reassuring. What have we walked in on? Is that why everyone's gone? Everyone died? That's depressing. I kind of like some of these people I've been hearing on the radio. <laughs> Hello. Honor death and immortality using leaf technology is a fascinating field of study. Using this tech, a person could live out a full life without fear of an accident cutting it short. Albeit the use of immortality is a misnomer, as the user simply shifts to a new timeline wherein they are still alive. This can only hold true until all practical timelines are exhausted. For example, an elderly man dying of natural causes is unlikely to shift into a timeline where they do not die, as that parallel world is really unlikely to exist. Well, quantum physics abound. Quite a singularity, really. Oh, here we go. Uh, tracing the life seed's location was a simple matter. After years of tracking the epicenter of the Pleistocene extinction event, I was led to this valley's location. I couldn't believe my eyes. Upon immediate examination of one of the orbs, I discovered their vast energy potential. With the help of the Pathfinders, I was able to locate the life seed from within the valley. Oppenheimer won't believe his ears upon hearing the marvels I have accomplished. Egotistical mad scientist much? Oh, hello. Uh, when I met Einstein at Princeton, I couldn't help but see a hint of Oppenheimer reflected in him. I was astonished by his clairvoyance and the makeup of our universe, viewing the experience of all things natural and spiritual in perfect unison, with the self acting as little more than an optical illusion in the perpetual flow of the universe. When Oppenheimer and I studied Indology under Aunt Arthur Ryder, I could see that some compassion and empathy for all living creatures brewing within him. Oh, well, good for him, I guess. 
effectively those wearing leaf suits gain the ability to deny the actuality of wave function collapse. In other words, the ability to branch through various objective realities as part of the many world theory of quantum mechanics. With this ability, pathfinders have visions of themselves dying each time this occurs, something nearby dies, such as an animal or nearby vegetation. It was soon discovered that if the Pathfinder has a vision of their own death, it is in fact them actually dying. Instead of remaining dead, they branch into a new wave of reality, whereupon they continue to live, albeit at the cost of an equivalent amount of life within that branch. To put it plainly, if a Pathfinder wearing leaf suit dies through some accident, their death is traded with the life of a nearby living thing. They achieve quantum immortality. Mm. Rule. Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Why am I singing that confounded song? Why in the hell is Fisher making us ramp up production? We're already working ourselves half to death down here, and now he wants to sleep deprived people working around the clock? We're working on explosives are crying out loud, oh dear. The fish Fisher guy is, not, is out of his mind. A total megalomaniac, just looking at that Pathfinder statue in the main lobby. I can't believe I'll have to take orders from him unquestionably during this wartime. Surely I can't be the only one who feels this way. Huh? Probably not. Given the uh, conversational variety we've heard him have. Oh well. Carry on, carrying on. Whoa, oh, hello. I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> We're all going to die. <laughs> Oh god. Well, the time like the present. Uh, oh! Give, Queenie. Thank you. Hello, hello. Floor 2. Let's see if floor 2 is not the answer. Or three. Nope, still not the answer. Hello, upside daisy. Up, 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 up. Ah, hello, what are you, darling? Come to me. Thank you, my dear. The valley is suffering. The natural life here seems to be slowly dwindling. Edwin thinks I'm crazy, but I see it becoming. Yeah, actually, it kind of sounds like they were. Sounds like they were uh, slowly killing their alley, which kind of makes sense when you think about it. I mean, how how long can you maintain this sort of thing before an ill effect occurs? Oh, hello. 26 acorns. Oh, look, finally a door that actually requires a sizable amount of acorns. What's down here? I feel like I've just backtracked massively. Oh, no, this is that room from earlier, isn't it? I think I just fucked up. Maybe... Oh, shit. Oh, boy. I am to do battle with infernal insects! Okay. Uh, now to get back to where I was, really. I can? Shouldn't- Oh my god, Slade! What are you doing, man? Alright, so now we know where we have to go. Uh, I want to go fix that door. I'm sorry, folks, we're gonna backtrack for a moment. I know, I know, it's gonna take longer, and yes, 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 you all suffer greatly. Thank you. Uh, hopefully that thing recharges at some point. Well, I don't think I'll need it again. Oh, well. oh that's right, this is this place. The place that has that annoying thing. Alright, I've already passed it. Can we stop with the epic music already? Yeesh! This thing and its epic music, it does not know when to stop. 
Warp speed, Mr. Scott. Or Mr. Slade, as the case may be. Did I just go backwards? Hope I didn't just go backwards. I think I'm going for... Oh, good. Music stopped. Jesus. This thing's timing when it comes to music is horrible. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, up's a daisy, lad. Oh, it's a long way to Tipperary. We're together now, who cares? Young men, short men, young men, long. Dublin, Belfast, Cork, Donegal. Tis a long way to Tipperary. <laughs> Don't mind me. We're just trekking around the block again. Rollicking, rollicking rumpus. Okay. Ooh. See, there's less exploration this time, so I can run like a madman. Thank you, Amrita Swarm. You are much kind as compared to earlier when you were trying to murder me! Sprechen Sie Deutsch. There's the other one that was trying to murder me. Stop buzzing. Buggery buggers. Mmm. -hmm. Those magnificent slades in their flying machines, they go up, did up, up, they come down, did it down, down. Right, cool, okay, so there's, there was this little bit of, ooh, hello. I'm trying to think of, of new puns all day about the stored energy of an object. I think a lot of them have been. Uh, Piss off! I like how they're incorporating pun jokes now. It's a punditry going on. Slade, that was awful. Go shoot yourself. Very well. <clears throat> That's right. This, this place again. Hello. How are you? How have you been? We're going around and over there. Less we are. Thank you. Come again. They taped away your mouth, scribbled out the truth of their lies, little spies. Oh, there we go. We've made it, folks. We're almost back to the place where Slade... Did. Oh, my God! All right. Uh... There we go. Acorn door. There it is. Yum. Oh, God. The light. Oh look, we've almost missed something important. Every time I open one of these things, I half expect the mummy to come out. Oh, that, yeah, that was definitely worth it. We have a lot more energy now. God, to think we started with two energy when this game began, and now look at us. We're cooking! Alright, here we go. Uh, once more onto the breach! Oh my god! Oh god. The orbs that grow within the valley field vast deposits of energy. Pendulum aims to win the war by harnessing this energy using the life seed. Bombs created using this energy have the potential to destroy entire cities. Well, hate to break it to you, chum, but the atom bomb is a thing. It goes boom, and Russia has it. Oh well. Okay, here we are happily ensconced upon our new adventure, and thank you all for watching us. Uh, next time, next week, we shall continue into this den of darkness which we find ourselves in trapped upon, and hopefully nothing explodes. Because it sounds like these bombs are rather explosive. My god, man. Go slap yourself. <laughs>